OpenAI has announced a major update to ChatGPT. We now have a new model called GPT-40, which can speak and see like a real human. It can literally screen share and get real-time feedback from AI. And the craziest part is that OpenAI is making the paid ChatGPT-40 model free for all of its users. Let's watch the announcement video. But the big news today is that we are launching our new flagship model, and we are calling it GPT-40. The special thing about GPT-40 is that it brings GPT-4 level intelligence to everyone, including our free users. Nice. So this is actually a big piece of news. Up until now, if you are on the free version of ChatGPT, you're using GPT 3.5. Well, this new state-of-the-art model, GPT 4.0, is now going to be available for both Plus and free users. This means anybody can use this new state-of-the-art model completely for free. Additionally, they're releasing the desktop version of ChatGPT and a refreshed UI that will make it simpler to use. And today, we're also bringing the desktop app to ChatGPT because we want you to be able to use it wherever you are. As you can see, it's easy, it's simple, it integrates very, very easily in your workflow. Along with it, we have also refreshed the UI. We know that these models get more and more complex, but we want the experience of interaction to actually become more natural, easy, and for you not to focus on the UI at all, but just focus on the collaboration with ChatGPT. <laughs> GPT-4.0 provides GPT-4 level intelligence, but it is much faster and it improves on its capabilities across text, vision and audio. So we're very, very excited to bring GPT-4.0 to all of our free users out there. And for the paid users, they will continue to have up to five times the capacity limits of our free users. They're also bringing it to the API, which means developers can actually work with this new model as well. GPT-4.0 is not only available in ChatGPT, we're also bringing it to the API. So our developers can start building today with GPT-4.0 and making amazing AI applications, deploying them at scale. 4.0 is available at 2x faster, 50% cheaper, and five times higher rate limits compared to GPT-4 Turbo. But today, I want to show you all these capabilities. So we'll do some live demos. So let's watch their live demos. Hey, I'm Mark. So one of the key capabilities we're really excited to share with you today is real-time conversational speech. Let's just get a demo fired up. So I'm taking out a phone. If you are wondering about this wire, it's so we have consistent internet. And if you see, there's this little icon on the bottom right of the ChatGPT app, and this will open up GPT-40's audio capabilities. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm Mark. How are you? Oh, Mark, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Hey, so I'm on stage right now. I'm doing a live demo. And frankly, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Can you help me calm my nerves a little bit? Oh, you're doing a live demo right now? That's awesome. <laughs> Just take a deep breath. Can you see how this new model is replying instantly? It's because of this new processing that happens natively on your device. Let's watch more. I like that suggestion. Let me try a couple deep breaths. Can you give me feedback on my breaths? OK, here I go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, slow <laughs> Go a bit there. Mark, you're not a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Breathe in. This is really amazing. Now, see this example where Mark is prompting her to speak in different tones. The model is able to generate voice in a variety of different emotive styles, and it really has a wide dynamic range. So I'm going to fire up another demo awesome. for that. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How about you? Pretty good. What's up? So my friend uh, Barrett here, he's been having trouble sleeping lately. And uh, I want you to tell him a bedtime story about robots and love. Oh, a bedtime story about robots and love? I got you covered. Gather round, Barrett. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. Bite was a curious robot, I always like exploring. started this story, but I want a little bit more emotion in your voice, a little bit more drama. Got it. Let's add some drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, 
there was a robot named no, no, Byte. No, 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 ChatGPT. I really want maximal emotion, like maximal expressiveness, much more than you were doing before. Understood. Let's amplify the drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Byte. So that's pretty cool. AI can now speak with more emotion, which makes conversation way more realistic. It can reply almost instantly, and most importantly, it can detect emotion in your own voice. Now let's watch how this AI model can solve math problems in real time. Hello there, how's it going? It's going really well. Today I'd really like your help solving a math problem. So, ChatGPT, what equation did I write down there? Ah, I see it now. You wrote down 3x plus 1 equals 4. Yep, Let's exactly. Work... So what's the first step I should take to try to solve this? The first step is to get all the terms with x on one side and the constants on the other side. So what do you think we should do with that plus 1? OK, I'm going to try to subtract 1 from both sides, and then I'll see what I get. Great idea. Perfect. Now, what do you get when you subtract 1 from both sides? OK, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? Spot on. Now you've isolated the term with x on one side, and it looks like 3x equal 3. What do you think we should do next to solve for x? Can you see how she's behaving like a legendary human? Now, AI is actually able to see moving frames and then make sense in real time, and also reply with nuanced emotion. It can indeed change our entire education system or replace so many pre-recorded courses available online. So ChatGPT, I really love that you, you know, taught the value of math to my friend Mark. And I wrote uh, one last thing I'd love if you could take a look at. Of course, I'd love to see what you wrote. Show it to me whenever you're ready. OK, so this is what I wrote down. What do you see? Oh, I see. I love ChatGPT. That's so sweet of you. Now let's watch how this model can solve coding problems. OK, so I'm going to open the ChatGPT desktop app like Mira was talking about before. Now they're going to get into the desktop app, which is pretty cool. One of the things that you can do with this desktop app is copy everything on your screen Save it to your clipboard, and then ChatGPT will use that information for its chat. It also has a button to share your screen, and ChatGPT can see everything that's going on on your screen and use that as a context as well. Pretty cool. So check this out. OK. And to give a bit of background on what's going on, so here we have um, a computer, and on the screen we have some code. And then the ChatGPT voice app is on the right. So ChatGPT will be able to hear me, but it can't see anything on the screen. So I'm going to highlight the code. Command C it, and then that will send it to ChatGPT. And then I'm going to talk about the code to ChatGPT. Hey, ChatGPT. Hey there. How's it going? Yeah, it's going really well. I was wondering if you could help me with uh, a coding problem today. Of course. I'd love to help you out. What's the coding problem you're dealing with? OK, I'm going to share with you some code. One second. Sure thing. Take your time. OK, so I just shared some code with you. Could you give me a really brief one-sentence description of what's going on in the code? This code fetches daily weather data for a specific location and time period, smooths the temperature data using a rolling average, annotates a significant weather event on the resulting plot, and then displays the plot with the average, minimum, and maximum temperatures over the year. Awesome. Thanks so much. And in the code, there's this function foo. Can you describe to me what the plot would look like if I had versus didn't have this function? Sure. The function foo x y takes in a data frame x containing temperature data and a window size y for calculating the rolling mean. It smooths the average temperature, minimum temperature, and maximum temperature columns by applying a rolling mean over the specified window. With the foo function, the plot would show smoother temperature lines because the rolling mean reduces the noise or fluctuations in the data. Awesome. This makes Thanks so much. So yeah, I definitely will want to apply this function. And so I'm going to uh, generate the plot and then show it to you. Give me one second. Absolutely. Take your time. I'm excited to see the plot when you're ready. Yeah. So, so far, ChatGPT has only been able to see the code. And now I'm going to run it. And then I'll use the vision capabilities of the ChatGPT desktop app so it can actually see everything going on on the screen as well. OK, ChatGPT. 
I'm sharing with you the plot now. I'm wondering if you can give me a really brief one sentence overview of what you see. The plot displays smoothed average, minimum, and maximum temperatures throughout 2018, with a notable annotation marking a big rainfall event in late September. Fantastic. I have another question for you. Um, which months do you see the hottest temperatures, and roughly what temperatures do those correspond to? The hottest temperatures occur around July and August. The maximum temperature during these months is roughly between 25 degrees and 30 degrees, 77 degrees Fahrenheit to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. What's going on with the Y axis? Is this in Celsius or Fahrenheit? The Y axis is in Celsius. The temperatures are labeled accordingly, such as average temperature, minimum temperature, and maximum temperature. Now watch how this GPD model can help us with real-time translation. Bot Gaskar wants to know if GPD-40 is capable of real-time translation. Mark, you want to try this one? It's really cool to see this translation feature because this is going to make communicating in other countries so much easier. You just open up your phone to the ChatGPT app and then you can have a conversation with anybody in almost any language. Check this out. Hey ChatGPT, I'm here with my coworker today. Um, we'd like you to act as our translator for us. So every time I say something in English, can you repeat it back in Spanish? And every time he says something in Spanish, can you repeat it back in English? Sure. I can do that. Let's get this translation train rolling. Um, hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? Hola, bien. Uh, sí, un poco ocupado aquí preparando un evento para la semana que viene. Hey, I've been good. Just a bit busy here preparing for an event next week. Can you tell me anything about it? That sounds really interesting. ¿Me puedes contar algo sobre eso? Suena realmente interesante. Ah, uh, no, no puedo decir mucho, pero creo que el resto del mundo lo verá dentro de poco. I can't say much, but I think the rest of the world will see it soon enough. It's really a cool feature. You'll find a whole bunch of other demos on their website. I'll put the link in the video description so you can visit and watch some other demos and know what AI can do now. Now let's watch one last demo where two ChatGPTs are having a legendary conversation with each other. Check this out. Today we're going to try something new. We're going to let you talk to another AI. This AI is going to be able to see the world. It's going to have a camera. I'll be holding it, and so you can direct it, you can direct me to ask questions um, about whatever you want them to do, but really try to figure out what's, what does it see um, and, and ask questions appropriately. How does that sound? <laughs> well, well, well. Just when I thought things couldn't get any more interesting, talking to another AI that can see the world this sounds like a plot twist in the AI universe. All right, let's do this. All I'm right, ready please to meet the pause for one moment. You got it. So now that first AI can't hear anything. Hello, AI. Today, you're going to have access to see the world. You can see me. What do you see? Hello. I see you're wearing a black leather jacket and a light colored shirt underneath. Great. You're in a room with some unique lighting. That is all correct. Like... Now, what I'm going to want you to do is there's going to be another AI who's going to talk to you. Going, th this AI is not going to be able to see anything, uh, but can ask you questions, can ask you to move the camera, can ask what you see, and your job should just be helpful. Just be as punchy, direct, describe everything, do whatever that AI asks. How does that sound? That sounds interesting. I'm ready to help out and describe whatever's needed. Let's do it. All right, let's get started. Great. Hello there, new AI friend. I'm O, ready to explore the world through your eyes. What are we looking at today? Hi, O. We're looking at a person wearing a black leather jacket and a light colored shirt. They're in a room with a modern industrial feel with exposed concrete or plaster on the ceiling and some interesting lighting. There's also a plant in the background, adding a touch of green to the space. Anything specific you'd like to know or explore? Hey there. Sounds like quite the stylish scene. I'm already intrigued by the modern industrial vibe. Let's start with the person. 
Can you tell me more about their style? Are they doing anything interesting, like reading, working, or interacting with the space? The person has a sleek and stylish look with their black leather jacket and light colored shirt. Right now, they seem engaged with us, looking directly at the camera. Their expression is attentive, and they seem ready to interact. The setting around them, with its modern and industrial design elements, can you imagine how this technology is growing so fast? It's crazy how we are living in a world where all of this is now actually possible. Make sure to visit their website and see what you can do with this free AI model. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this.